usage. It's been a marvelous lesson, really useful. Is there anything about passive gerund usage? Thank you. A gerund is when you take a verb like talk, jump, speak, and you just add a plus ing to the end. When you add a plus ing, it makes it a noun. Talking, jumping, speaking. Thinking is more, hmm, more fun than running. These are both nouns. Thinking. Thinking is a gerund noun because it comes from the verb think. Running is a, a, a gerund noun because it comes from the verb run. Thinking is more fun than running. This is a comparison. Comparison of the subject to the object. Why? Because the verb applies to the subject. Beats running. So thinking is better than running. Yes, thinking beats running. All right, thinking is so much more fun and so much better than running. Now let's say that we change our mind. Let's say that now we think that running is better and beats thinking. We would rather go running than think. So now we're going to say thinking is smashed by running. Now thinking has become a passive gerund. And that is what we are talking about when we say passive gerund. Simply a passive subject which is affected by the object. Rather than, a pa rather than a subject affecting the object, the subject is now passively being affected by the object. Hey, that's an example too. The subject is affected by the object in a passive form. So, let's say for example, Instead of using normal nouns, let's use gerunds. The running affects the breathing. Or the breathing is affected by the running. Here we have two sentences which mean the same thing. The running is the subject and the subject actions the object. In this one, the subject is being actioned by the object. Well, I hope that you found that video entertaining. And don't forget to subscribe.